Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. Well, as usual, it's been a little while since I last played, but as I remember, I was um, building up these sapphire mines down here because I was, I was running out of iron. So that's um, as usual. Iron is always in high demand in uh, in Factorio. I also built up the steel, but I think that was a little, a little bit longer ago. And yes, the last couple of episodes have mostly been about claiming this sort of area. My plan for this episode was originally to have a look into the um, into Petrochem and start producing plastics and things. But it has also occurred to me that I should probably look into some of some of the other vehicle things and construction vehicles, construction bots, and things like that that come with the Angel Bobs because I'm, I'm I may be able to get started on um, on having useful assists for my uh, construction a little bit sooner than I was expecting. So I'm going to set that running for now while I uh, wander off and have a think about whether it's worth setting up yet another stereotype mine, uh, uh, sapphire mine rather up here because there's this other patch just over here that's also quite big, has a decent amount in it, decent size, and um, and could very easily be linked into this uh, into this railway system over here, but I didn't bring any mines with me, or rather I've used all the mines up down here and and up here. So that's going to make all. Oh, there's a few of those are finished already. That's slightly alarming. So I'll just nip down, nip down and get the car. Um, go and get some more mines. I think I'll set this one up as well, just because I might as well get it get it going. It's going to make things. Um, it's going to make my iron inputs a little bit more free, a little bit more reliable, last a bit longer, and so I won't have to worry about going out and setting up new mines for that, that little extra bit longer. I'm also trying a slightly different way of recording as well, so um, oops. Uh, that is uh, us using a different microphone, so it'll be interesting to see how this compares to the other episodes I've done, whether the um, sound is better or worse, and uh, let me know in the comments and it'll help me choose which way to, uh, to carry on recording in the future. It's one of the researchers I'm doing. So let's have a look at these um, crawler construction vehicles and crawler construction trains. Let's see what I can get out of those, because if they'll do some of the building work for me, that'd be extremely useful. I'm also quite low on belts, so I'll stock up on those while I'm here as well. What else do I need? I'm going to need some railway, but I've got a, a bit of railway. That might well be enough. I can build another train stop. Do I have... No, I could do with some more iron, I think. I've got 113, but um, iron is one of those things you get through a lot of when you start building um, boxes and things. So I'm going to grab some more of that off the bus here. And yellow belts. And yellow splitters. 200 splitters is a lot of splitters. Let's put some of them back. I'm going to have to start being a bit more aware of trains, I think. Um, that wasn't too bad. It was a reasonable distance away from me. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot more of them running around than they used to be. And uh, I don't want to get my car accidentally run over by a train because, well, the train won't care, but the car will, and I will if I'm in it. Building up a mine by hand takes a while. That's one of the reasons I wanted to water it. I wanted something that will help me automate it. So that crawler vehicle I've just researched, what have we got here? I've got this file, uh, file I've already got. I don't know. I don't know what that'll do. Looking at these things I can put in it, the first one is that other thing I've just researched. Um, what was it? Oh, it was a vehicle equipment. That's helpful. I don't know. I think I should probably make one and see what happens. So let's let's do that. And I, I, can, I can come back to this um, this mine down here. I'm curious about this, um, this crawler construction vehicle. I want to know what it can do. No, no trains coming. Safe. Okay, so I need to go back up north. I need to um, raid that box where I keep putting uh, where I keep putting the gear the uh, the gears in to make the engines. Uh, although this time, for once, I haven't blown up my car. Was my engine construction? I'm sure it was up here somewhere. Oh no, I moved it further down because I kept needing it because I kept getting my cars destroyed because I was drunk. I'm going to put walls across by these just to keep them protected from terrible drivers like myself. I don't want to put too many walls in because if I make the holes smaller I'm more likely to hit, hit the walls on the way through and that's going to be really bad for the car as we've discovered earlier. But then on the flip side I don't want to uh, risk hitting the pipes all the time as I have been recently. Where did I put that engine constructor? Not down here was it? No, is it just inserters? Have I got to that point in my, where my factory is of an awkward size where I just can't find things anymore? I think I have. All right, I've got a machine here that makes um, makes engines, so I'm just going to stick another box next to it, like that, and then have a stack of engines in there, and that can that can build them for me. I'm sure there was somewhere though where I had a machine actually producing them, and I know I moved. I, I think I remember moving it, but I don't remember where I moved it to. No, not got a clue. This, of course, is going to take a while because engine construction is slow. You were, yes, that is actually working on one. Okay, what else can I research while I'm at it? Let's let's have the crawler. Tr let's, have the, let's let's research these three train types here: the crawler, the crawler, the petrochem, and the smelting, because you never know; they might be useful as well. Maybe they're not just cosmetic. And I'm I'm kind of curious, and I want to get the um, inventory expansion as well, um, and probably the modular armor. So yeah, there's there's definitely quite a lot of stuff I want to research, and there'll be another sort of test of 
it'll put, it'll put an additional load on my uh, raw on my resources and hopefully help me discover whether my um, supplies are good enough. Looking up here, oh, actually the, the, the um, iron is going through fairly quickly to be made into steel and, and ammunition here. So that certainly is still being used. Yeah, looking at this belt here, the ammunition is kept play, still playing catch up from when I went through and pulled all the yellow out. Because, well, nobody wants yellow ammunition, do they? Oh, this is a very long belt. <laughs> no wonder it's taking a long time and a lot of resources to fill up. Ah, here we go. All right, so it's got this far. I mean that that is an in, to be honest that is an enormous amount of um, iron, steel, and copper that's tied up in ammunition now. It feels like an enormous waste. And in fact, I feel that a significant proportion of what the um, a significant proportion of what my um, system is producing is my, my factory is producing is going into ammunition. There's some iron ticking through here as well. The steel has actually stopped. That's got caught up, so that's quite good. Most of my my factory is basically just an ammunition factory at the moment. It's producing almost nothing else. Okay, I'm going to call a, um, a quick uh, a, a break here while we wait for this thing this thing to produce some engine. Oh, oh I see. I was producing cars directly. That's what I did. Right. I mean, that makes a certain sense but for when I thought I was just going to be using cars. So, um, yeah. Good. But, yeah, I still need, still need engines. So, <laughs> let's leave that running. I'm going to call a, um, a brief break and I'll... Uh, I'll come back to you when this when this will produce some more engines because I, I, I don't really want to go off and f start faffing around with something else because I'll forget what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm just going to call a, a, a brief pause. Back in a mo. Okay, I take it all back. I've got bored of waiting now. So let's um, let's see. Let's go down and finish that mine off. And by the time I've done that, there'll probably be something ready for me to pick up. It's it's a bit of a shame because if, if they do allow me to do construction a bit more automatically, then having the um, having built the mine means I'll I'll have done it manually when I didn't need to. But never mind. Cellar V, as they say. So let's go down and have another look at that um, mining area. Oh, something is getting destroyed. I see. Right. So the biters are now getting close enough to. Um, to the walls that they're able to spit over the top of them. Oh, God, where was that? Uh, it was all the way up there. That's awkward. Oh well, I'll come back up there in a minute. Like when I go to get to pick up all those engines, I suppose. For now, I think the turrets will probably be okay. Uh, that might be a famous last words. We'll see. So while I was um, waiting for those engines to build, I did a few other things. I set a couple of other researches going. I've researched the other two types of weirdo train. Uh, so I've now got crawler trains, petrochem trains and smelting trains. And I've set the um, fluid wagon going as you can, uh, research going as you can see at the top there. All of these are things that I'm, well the fluid wagon is certainly something I'm going to want in the not too distant future when I start messing around with petrochem because I'm going to need to transport oil and gas or, and or gas, I'm not sure, it depends on what I go for, from wherever I dig it up to wherever I refine it. Those places could be reasonably close by but I think in experience at least playing Vanilla Factorio, the first time I usually end up building trains is in order to get the um, the oil from where it's dug up to somewhere where I can smelt it. And I don't really see any reason to expect it to be different in this. 6 to 4, 6 to 4, 6 to 4. Now we have everybody's favourite part of one of my episodes when I uh, manually, bend, manually build a belt balancer. Yeah, it's my favourite part too. It's uh, so exciting. At least you guys get to watch it high speed, assuming I don't talk too much while I'm making it. Okay, that's the belts done. Now for the traditional grid of cables to power everything. Oh! Okay, I've run out of something else. Uh, let's put down the train station and loading facilities and so on, because that way at least I'll know if I'm running out of other things that I need as well. Not that much train. Oh, I've got a curve. It's easy to go wrong when you're just dropping loads and loads of the same things down. Oh yeah, I'd run out of those. That's the whole um, thing. And I've run out of railway as well. Okay, it's a good thing I did check. Back to the car, back to the north, and back to grab some more stuff. And I've got some more coloured ball things I could unload. So many rocks. I should put in some signals here as well, actually. That would be one of them there, and there. And some up there as well. One of those. Right, that's right. One of those there. I need to put one in the middle of this part as well. Actually, let's let's pull up some of this track where I don't need to put signals in while I'm still thinking about signals, because otherwise I'm bound to forget. There we go. Oh no, we don't go. There we go. And one of those. 
goes in there to make sure it doesn't do anything it shouldn't when it comes across there. And that presumably is a, yeah, that's the right sort of signal. Okay, that looks alright. I see no trains. Okay, how many engines have we got? 17. Still not enough. I need 20 in total. So I ran out of rail, which is down here with all the train stuff. So four packs of rail. I ran out of power poles, which are, goodness knows, somewhere up here. There we go. I'm up for big, big ones. Yeah, I'm okay for big ones. Right, so over here was where we were having that um, that biter problem, should we say. I don't have any grey belts anymore, but I can shove a yellow one in there. That's fine. So obviously I need a few more guns along here. Is this a normal? Sniper, normal. <laughs> Finish this line off like that. Shame I can't put one in there. Um, and then snipers on the other side, of course. Do I have any? Yes, I do. I have some grey inserters. Yeah, we need a bit more um, militarisation down here. I mean, you can see by the sheer quantity of these uh, drops that there's been a lot of um, lot of biters coming through here. Hoover, hoover, hoover. So I reckoned it wasn't actually worth rebuilding these um, these wall sections in the Dragon's Teeth because the repair packs are actually more expensive than the uh, than the walls themselves are. But does that mean I should now go through and replace them? I suppose it probably does. Bit of no spitting. Crikey, there's a lot of this stuff. That's not stepped in the acid. Ow, stepped in the acid. <laughs> And there's a load of stone. Oh, put some of this in the car. That's probably the best way to get rid of it. Let's try not to get the car destroyed because I'll just lose it all. Not that it's particularly valuable or and I'll be particularly upset if I lose if I do lose it, but you know. Right, well let's unload the um all those all that bite of goo from the car. Got a lot of this red belt as well. That's a bit of a waste of inventory space, I think, because I'm probably not going to be using them very much. Oh, I remember something else I was going to do. Have I got any filter inserters? I have not got any filter inserters. What about in here? Yep, there's two. Right, so I had this thought that I might as well try and empty out my uh, giant box of junk and try and put it, put, put all the stuff from it back onto the bus and get it back into circulation again. So let's start off with, is there any coal in there? Let's find out. Yes, that one. And the next thing is probably going to be wood. Actually, it's going to need to be there like that. And I want you to go for wood. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to get through all of this, but what? Oh... Uh, yeah, okay, that is all right. Yeah, it's going to take a, a uh, quite a while to get through all of these um, all these resources, but at least it it means it's um it's going to be it means it put, it's they are getting pulled out of here eventually and they're going to get used up. Stone bricks is something else I could do from here quite easily to make some more filters. So two foot circuit boards <laughs> circuit boards quite a long way down. I'm not going to bother. Bricks bricks is something I can do. Stone this, yeah, I've got some stone in here because I keep dumping it from um, whenever I make. Uh, whenever I pick up, accidentally pick up bits of rocks and things. So you're getting bricks out, you're getting stone. Yes, that is the right word. Good. Thing is, I don't think I'm using very much stone further down. Um, oh, there'll be a bit for underground belts and things, so maybe this will get used up? I guess we'll see. This might be a bit overkill. Um, I feel like I've expended more resources in the systems I'm using to unload the um, the box thing than I am actually, than is, is actually being, oh, I don't know. Don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, this has run out of something. Oh, the crushed stone thing has backed up again. Joy. Yes, because this is all full up again. Okay, I think I pretty much decided that when this next happened, I was going to do an up, put in another one of the washing away facilities like this just to get rid of it all. You can slot in nicely up here, I think. Oh, I need to get water up here though for that. Uh, where's water? There's water up north. I mean, that is possible. It's not that far. Water off to the west, that's probably easier. Maybe I should have water on the bus. That seems seems silly, but I don't know. There's quite a lot of water coming through here, but that's being used by the... I don't really want to interrupt the water supply for the steam engines. Or I suppose I could pull off the end of it. I don't know. I don't have a resource to pull in these anyway. Okay, let's, um, let's do some more laying of bricks down to carpet the base because that is a, no is a reasonably nice way of getting rid of them all. Dump, 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 dump. Oh yeah, there's the carpet. Okay, where's the next place to um, carpet? Probably is right down here, to be honest. All of this area down here between the railway lines and the bus is the logical next place to go, but oops, that's a bit of a bit of a drive. Store it all in railway carriages, I suppose. Maybe, that, maybe that's a good way to bring it all down here so I can use it to um, build up. Nice big paintbrush. Really much I can in one go. <laughs> Let's get rid of a lot in one go. Okay, that's all the way up there. <laughs> Let's get some more. I feel like I should move the um, 
its warehouse down. But given that there's 46,000 stone bricks in it, that's going to be a rather difficult thing to do. Oh, this is fiddly. Can I do it without running anything over? Apparently so. I'm as surprised as you are. There we go, this is what I was talking about with the stackers. So the idea is, there's a train sitting in the station being unloaded at any, all the time, and as soon as that train finishes, there's, there's another one ready to come in from the parking area just outside. But because the parking area just outside is off the main, main railway lines, it's not blocking the place up, and the other, tra other trains can get through when they need to uh, take other resources in. And stackers are, a, yeah, stackers are a nice way to do that. 31,000. <laughs> I wonder how quickly it's filling up compared to how quickly I'm, I'm emptying it. And obviously it's a, I'm getting rid of, using it up a lot faster than it's being generated, but how, just how much faster. So yeah, my plan was to go down to the bottom of where the uh, railway line finishes. <laughs> I um, overshot a little bit. <laughs> this is quite slow and quite ridiculous. There we go. It's quite easy to overshoot, it turns out. That's not what I'm going to do. Okay, um, spent again, that'll do, I think. I was going to say I'm running out of area to, to brick over, that's not entirely true, that's not remotely true. I could do this whole area over here as well and carry on just trying to do everywhere inside my um, inside my walls. For now, I think it's probably a good point to stop before I get too confused, before I end up doing too much running around trying to uh, place it all. Where's my inventory? Right, well. Now, I feel I should get rid of some of this rubbish I'm carrying around with me and try and sort some of it out a bit. Maybe take out some of the stuff from in here that's useful but in the wrong place, like sapphire ore, and lead ore, and copper ore. And I've done. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> no, I'm not doing lead up here anymore at all. I got rid of that. Oh, come on, that should be able to go in there. Why can't I put copper ore in a smelter? Oh, it's got. Cause it's already got something in it. That one, maybe. Ooh, copper supply is low. Yeah. I haven't thought about copper for a while. But then, to be fair, I do only have ten miners digging up from one small sapphire patch. It, I'm, I'm surprised about anything. It's that it's taken this long for it to be a problem. Okay. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I suppose it's just getting turned into circuits. And I've been doing a fair amount of research recently, which is why that's been being eaten up. Oh, and these these drills down here, they've been using up quite a lot of circuits as well, I guess. Okay. Ah, oh, so these circuits. Yeah, this this circuit factory up here is quite short of copper, so I do need and I do need to get more being produced. Maybe it's because this is finally emptied. That's probably why. I spent ages stocking this up, and now I've just used it, and now I've managed to use it all up. And and of course, there's the ammunition over here that's using quite a lot. Okay, I suppose I need to make this um, mine a bit more, a bit, a bit more, just generally more. This is going to turn out to be what this is turning into one of those rather bitty episodes. I'm afraid. I kind of apologise, but I mean, it's just just one of those things. It's just the way it is, really. Um, you go around, you set a load of stuff. Oh, well, these can be upgraded. You sort of run around, setting things up, and then you realise that oh dear, I've run out of this resource or that resource. So you go around, you fix that up. Sort that problem out. No, at least not close. Yeah, so you run around sorting out one problem, and then you, as you're doing that, you see another one, and then eventually, maybe, eventually, maybe if you're really lucky, you get to go and spend a few minutes actually setting, sorting out, setting up some new stuff. Which is my, I mean, that was my plan for this episode, wasn't it? It was to go around and say, yeah, I'm going to get some um, this this episode. I'm going to get um, oil processing or gas processing sorted out, and, and all of that done. But no, of course not. I got quickly distracted by all of these other things that were going wrong. It'd be far too easy if, if, if everything just worked as you expected. To. Why are they not powered? Oh, I've got this off somewhere. I? Power poles are another one of those things where the um, the basic level is absolutely useless once you've got the intermediate ones. Some resource, some uh, uh, thing. Uh, I think I've said in previous episodes, some of the things you build, you can actually recycle the old ones and um, turn them into into the newer ones. Like with the um, the, be the belts or the miners and that sort of thing. New, the old ones are still valuable, whereas with um, other stuff. That's just not the case. The um, Mark One power poles are completely useless once you've got Mark Two and Mark Three and so on because they, they are actually they're worse in every way and they just and they can't be used to build the new ones. So all you can really do with them is feed them into boilers and burn them for uh, for electricity. Also, this is lead. That's all right. More crushers? Are those crushers? I think they're crushers. Yes, they are. Right. Upgrades first. Go. Put them in. Put that pole there. Let's put it. Oh, I don't know. It seems to need it at the moment. Anyway, oh, it's coming in from over there. That's sort of all right. Let's pull all. Actually, let's pull all of. Uh, apparently, I won't pull all of that up because I'm full. Rubbish box. Uh, I don't want them. I don't want Mark One mining drills. We can get lost. Mark One inserters can get lost. Okay, there's probably nothing in this space. I'm just going to upgrade all of this because running off normal everything is a bit pointless. Okay, so five on each side. Might need to 
will need to reboot this belt. <laughs> but not by much. Uh, let's just go straight stack and stack surface on this. It's probably overkill, but uh, things like that. Things like stack and surface are cheap enough. I don't think I care. Maybe I'll crush through a tire. If I make these other side of the belt, uh, far side of the belt like that, then what I can do here is turn this around, come over here, and then just feed straight down the other side of this one. Right, these need updating to um, steel steel furnaces, which is something I apparently don't have with me. Uh, that's okay, they're not being built too far away, I don't think. <laughs> okay, I wasn't meaning to make that many of them, no wonder I've been having steel problems recently. Uh, let's take one, okay, let's take one part of them. Ah, I could put those in... Yes. I'm carrying a lot of turrets at the moment, that seems excessive. Oh, I know how I can fix this. <laughs> Bigger inventory. Whoosh. Right, this needs to be yellow belt all the way down, of course. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that one. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. And then this probably has to be red belts, because I've got yellow coming to this point. So let's go red down here. That's better. I think I can just do red inserters all the way along here. Let's pull all of this up and rethink it with the proper electricity poles. On there, I'll get all of that. Um, then the next one needs to go there, and then the next one will need to go there. Okay. And the same on the other side. Right, that now appears to be... No, it's not a complete um, grey belt going out on both sides. There's room for more though. Um, okay, let's. How f how full is that? Um, what do you reckon? So about fifty percent. Let's call it. Say it's about fifty percent. I'm not getting through. I'm going to put in. I'm going to upgrade this bit round here to red. I think. I think because there's the um, along here. There's the mix of the two types of stuff. So if I want to have a full yellow belt coming out at the bottom, I need to have more than a full yellow belt going in at the top. Now, as usual, we're getting limited by the um, crushed stone disposal systems. Okay, how are we doing? That's um, pretty close to a full belt coming out of here. So I'd say that's... I'm happy with those crushers, I think. I can probably bring in some more from this mine over here. No, no. That's not good. I just realised what I was going to do there. <laughs> there. Okay, it's going to be pulling more from this side, but I don't care. It'll, as long as it keeps running, that's, uh, that's the main thing. So that comes down here, we've got as much as needed coming in here. Alright, let's put some more of these in over this side. Six apparently is my limit. Or like eight on the side. I was about to say why have I got so many grey belts, but obviously it's just from um, doing upgrades all over the place. Uh, this one, it doesn't really matter whether it's near or far side. This one needs to be half and half. Oh, that shows I do use wood up actually, that's quite nice to know. Right, that looks like a good healthy um, belt of copper going out there long last. Maybe I can get everything caught up a bit now. I feel this whole system feels a bit crammed in here. There's not... It's it's fitted reasonably well. I've been able to expand out without too much difficulty. But I'm very sure at some point I'm going to be splitting off and doing... Um, um, having a separate copper dealing with facility. But maybe this will last until I can do a copper facility and an external circuit facility as well. Uh, I want to get a lot more space and a lot more um, stuff going on. Okay, why was I doing that? No, I can't remember either. Um, right, let's go back to the car and see if that reminds me of what I was doing. Okay, yeah, I was getting rid of some of this nonsense out of my inventory. So that can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. I can't get rid of lead ore very well from here. Let's, let's put that back in there. I was just generally trying to get rid of some of this stuff, wasn't I? What's that? Aluminium ore? So these bricks and crushed stone and what's that flotation cell? It, it just all builds up in, in here and I, I never get around to putting it where I in a more sensible place. Steel ball bearings are mildly useful, but <laughs> not getting used up much, are they? Uh, at least they're not going to get used up if they're sitting in this box. Those are useless, let's add to them. Those I could put in to be... Oh, there's some engines, that's nice. I love those. Loads of steel furnaces. Go and put them. Oh no, I won't be able to put them in the steel furnace machine, will I, in its box, because it was building ridiculous numbers of them up because I forgot to put a limit on it. There might be room for a few. Let's see. No, one block of them. Like that. And now I'm carrying 150 steel furnaces around. 
Oh well. Um, hmm. Oh, I know what I was going to I remember what I was going to do. I was going to take those. And I was going to make them into a crawler vehicle. Except I need circuits. Was that, basically, that was basically electronic circuits, wasn't it? Yes, which is the one with the components on, which is this side. Huh. Limiting factor here appears to be speed of belts. Because the copper isn't coming through quickly enough on these these grey belts for them to uh, turn it into ammunition as quickly as they otherwise could be. I don't think I care. I think I'm building ammunition quickly enough at this point. Okay, crawler. Ooh, bigger. Uh, let's give it some fuel. I'll have to do. Wow, it's a lot of space for putting stuff. I think it's slower than the car, but it's not that slow. It's got a massive trunk. Look at that. I don't know how to use it, though. I guess, oh, it'll be vehicle modules, which I've discovered I can search for like that. So I need vehicle robot ports, vehicle equipment too, maybe? Vehicle solar panels, nice. Oh, that's makeable. I could build those. Let's research them. Battery could be useful. What's that going to require? Batteries. Yeah, thanks. Um, batteries require, oh, they require sulfuric acids. So that's slightly more difficult. Fusion cell, is that a power supply? Yes, it is. That's a power plant. Shields are nice. Robot ports, yeah. Good, but I need robots to go with the robot ports. And I can't build robots because I need transist transistors and red circuit boards. So that's something I need to... And flying robot frames and stuff. So that's something to work on. Vehicle plasma cannon, what does that require? I mean, that's not far off. I need blue, so I need, las I need to get lasers going for that. Lasers are a, a thing I would like. Maybe I should be researching lasers. What do they need? I need laser. Okay. Well, let's leave that running for now. I mean, having all this space inside the to store stuff in this vehicle could potentially be quite useful. It means when I go out to build something, I can take a lot more stuff with me. In fact, I could potentially keep a lot of stuff in the vehicle anyway. I don't know if that's particularly useful, because I haven't really been using the car for that, apart from when I've been laying enormous quantities of bricks down. I'll stick with the car for now, but I'm going to try and work towards getting useful bots and things work together. There's those, um, not those bots, those bots. Oh! Interesting. Build a couple of those. What are, they going to, what are they going to deploy from? I don't know how to use these construction bots. Presumably they need a robo port. Can I build a, can I build robo ports? Cargo robo box. That's that's a maybe. And is that is that a vehicle thing or a me thing or a no that's probably a So this is coming out of Angel's Refining. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's investigate this. I mean yeah, okay, it needs sixty circuits. <laughs> is that enough? Yes. And this looks like this was something I should have been using all of this time as a an early form of uh, construction bots. And if this does work, then I'm probably going to start kicking myself because, you know, I should have been using this all along because it's going to make life so much... Well, it's going to make throwing buildings together so much easier anyway. You can only charge one bot at a time. It's not got a very big area that it covers. So it looks like it's a fairly poor version of a robo-port. But then if it works... Yeah, that's a tiny construction area. Isn't it? Yeah. Don't know how to give it supplies. Um, is there a logistics chest at this point? On one of the I can make. Uh, they require the difficult electronics boards. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I put the bots in there. I can't put the belts in there. No. So there's all these logistics chests. That's what I would expect. But later on, but I don't see an easy way to. Oh, this might be manageable. Can I make that then? Yes. Interesting. The only thing is that robo ports. Robozone, for want of a better word, is so small as to be more or less useless. And that doesn't seem to be working. That's a provider chest. And the bots aren't coming out of here to grab the belts I put in there and lay them out down here. So, I don't know why that's not working. Oh, it's a cargo robo box. Maybe that's why. Are there other types of robo box? There aren't any types of robo box going to that. Uh, robo. No. So maybe I can use this to transport stuff around, which is. Lovely, but not so useful right now. Okay, well that was a an experiment. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and I think ooh, ah, I'm going to drive straight through everything. <laughs> Stop that. Right, let's try that again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, um, the cr crawler construction vehicle. I'm going to fill it up with stone bricks. And I'm going to go and lay some more stone bricks down, just as sort of a because I can, because I've built the vehicle, I feel like I want to use it for something, at least, at this point. Um, oh, my research is finished. So I've got the vehicle solar panels. I want vehicle robo-ports. Yeah, that sounds good. And maybe those crappy little construction bots will be um, suitable for 
running out of the, um, the vehicle, the crawler vehicle. I'm going to put there because it's in reach. Ah, now I can carry 9,000 stone. <laughs> That's expansion research has come in useful. No, wait, <laughs> the other forwards. Let's see how it deals with trees. Well, that's good. That's a lot better at driving through trees than the normal car is. Okay, so I've got the vehicle robot ports. I don't know what robot modules are, let's find out. And I've got the vehicle solar panels. I'm going to build any of these now. Oh, burner generator, that's handy. Right, I need a lot more resources to start building this stuff. So let's head back over to the bus. Oops, missed that tree. Okay, so I definitely need copper iron and circuitry. Let's see, so vehicle, I need... So a burner generator. Oh, I need, I need red circuitry for that. <laughs> right. Okay, let's have another go at this. So if I come back up here to where I emptied my inventory, I can get back some belts that I'll do for testing and the construction robots. And if I open that up, maybe I'll just put these in the vehicle's trunk. One with half, half of them. It's charging up quite slowly. Oh, the, the burner generator's run out of power again. Already, rather. It's quite hungry. Wow. Okay, that heats power very, very quickly. But still, it's charging that robot port up nice and quickly. Right. Excellent. So, I've got... I've got bots. I wish I'd done that ages ago now. That's brilliant. <laughs> I feel like the entire episode has been a success now. I've um, got something I've been desperately wanting for ages, even if I did over, over the shoot a bit with the uh, bricks there. Um, right. Good. So, I guess now, in order to build up a new mine, I just need to drop in a blueprint, trundle on over with the um, uh, with the construction bot full of, with the construction vehicle full of everything, and it'll drop it all down there for me. That's brilliant. Let's see, what out of here is probably going to be most useful in there. Let's dump most of this. What's the range on this on this um, robot port? Oh, it's not bad, actually. It covers a decent area. Huh, cool. I can't build those at the moment, anyway, because they require the red circuits, but... Uh, right. Well, I'm... I don't know, I'm, I'm very pleased that I've got that... I've finally got robots, but I'm also a bit frustrated that it's... that I've been able to have them for quite a while. But I didn't realise this was a thing I could build at this point. Um, so let's have a look at the other train things I made. Maybe it's in here. Here, here we go. So we've got the construction train as well. So that's going presumably is the same sort of thing. Petrochem. Um, I don't know. I don't know what those are good for. Four seven sixty four. Twenty five thousand four. Okay, they're slightly bigger than a Mark II cargo wagon, and the same size as a fluid wagon. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should start using them. They're cheaper, I think, than the Mark IIs. They don't, yeah, they don't require in, didn't require Invar, I think. Yeah, it's just iron and steel, and it's a bigger, it's got more storage space. Well, yeah, <laughs> wish I'd known about that earlier. Um, but no, 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 uh, no sense of grumbling about it. Right, I think things are under control again now. I'm producing copper faster than I can use it, which is always the plan. Um, the iron is now great. I think this is probably a good point to stop, and I'll have a and now I'll have a bit of a look around and think about what I want to do next. I still, of course, want to get the um, the petrochem up and running because that's a, a big thing. I'm going to need that for blue science because blue science requires um, it would require red electronic circuit boards, which require red circuit board ferric chloride ferric chloride phenol. I don't know where any of this is going to come from, but let's put it that way. So I'm going to need to do a bit of thinking about all of this, and it's pro there's probably no point in me doing that on camera. So, yeah, I'll call this an episode here, and uh, have a think about what, what to do next. Thank you for watching. Um, and so, as I, as I was saying earlier, I've, um, I'm trying with a different uh, microphone for this episode. At least I, I plan to. If, if it's absolutely dire, then I'm going to stick with the recording from the old one, because I've got both running at the moment. Um, but, yeah, so I'm using the new one. Do let me know what you think of it. If it's... Um, if it's much better or much worse, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I don't, I don't know. We, we shall, we shall find out. Um, I might even try a slightly different way of editing the videos as well if I feel like I'm get, feel like going all out. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes as well. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments um, about the audio, about what I've been doing. Just generally talk to me. Give me some feedback. Give me something to work with and something to talk about in the next episode. Until then, well, I'll see you next time. <laughs>